My name's Paul Wellard, I live in Perth. Well, crews and staff and uh, care workers and that should, I think, really have a closer connection because uh, right now there's not really any system there for help that you actually think of because some people like myself which spent time in if I was actually given a sheet of numbers on the way out saying or if I saw someone from like in my case Cornerstone before I actually come out that said to me uh, you might not actually realise it yet but you might need help and support when you've been liberated you find that you need help here's a list of numbers or a number you can contact to get that sort of help and if it's given to you like you're on your way out the door or, and, or whatever to be given that sheet of numbers to see you've actually got it there so if in a day or two's time you find like I did this isn't right it's not helping and that is actually the point when I realised I could have done with those numbers and if I was given a sheet with the, those sort of numbers on, on the way out I would have called them then but whereas in my case where I didn't have that it was a search around it was tr uh, try to find things out and at the same time trying to cope with uh, doing things the best I could at times it was a struggle and where it uh, had become uh, anxiety attacks with me I was having to duck around corners in alleyways and uh, it affected me in a physical way as well uh, because several times I thought it started going through my head because I was I thought oh you watch I'm going to be grabbed for shoplifting on the way up because I was fine all the time I was doing the shopping but sometimes got to the till I started getting sweaty, shaky and in the case of like me it's I'm going to get nabbed for shoplifting in a minute they're going to think I've been up to something where I was actually paying for everything that I had brought because <laughs> uh, I don't believe in shoplifting Uh, that is the sort of time where, like with me, I realised I needed that support and at that point I had to search around, as I say, and find the support myself. It was just the fact that I've done charity work with homeless people and that in the past. I bumped into someone I knew and he went, well, I'm on the criminal justice myself. Oh, what are they? Where are they based? He gave me the telephone number, uh, the address, so I could go in and say, look, I'm not coping here, I need help. And that's where it come, would have come in handy instead of me carrying on or trying to carry on with struggling to have had like the telephone numbers at that point to just go first oh, I'm not coping I need help and sheet of numbers there to say places or people that you can ring to get the support you need.